Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bomb Flags of America. In today's episode, we will be talking about Chesapeake and Ohio, Kanawha class number 2716. So let me just pull up my stuff here. <laughs> Firstly, before we get too deep into this discussion, I just wanted to say here that I apologize for a long-awaited episode here. I just um, had a lot of things going on and kind of got burnt out with the series and decided to take a break for a good while and would just come back when I felt more like it. So, had all that going on, but got a whole bunch of stuff that if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll get into. Almost done here. Here. So this picture here was taken in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1951. So this would be more than likely one of the last pictures of this locomotive when it was still in service under the Chesapeake and Ohio. Anyway, Chesapeake and Ohio 2716, as seen in the picture here, is a CNO K4284 Berkshire type but the CNO nicknamed them Kanawas after the Kanawa River. As a steam locomotive, well, was built in 1943 by the American Locomotive Company, or ALCO, for the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway. While most railroads referred to these as the two eight as, while most railroads referred to their two eight fours as two eight fours as Berkshires. The CNO named them Kanawas after the Kanawa River, which flows through West Virginia. Originally, Chesapeake and Ohio 2716 and its classmates were used as dual service locomotives on the CNO in a variety of duties until, until being retired in 1956. So, CNO 2716 was the 17th member of a class of total, totaling 90 locomotives, K4 class Kanawas, built for the CNO by the American Locomotive Company, or ALCO, and the Lima Locomotive Works, or LIMA, between 1943 through 1947. These locomotives were used to haul heavy freight trains as well as fast passenger trains, such as the George Washington, among others. After only 13 years of revenue service, CNO retired 2716 1956 due to the advent of dieselization. CNO sold the majority of their Kanawas for scrap, although 13 locomotives were held for preservation, including 2716. And another interesting fact is that a lot of these locomotives, some others that were held for preservation of the CNO, including Kanawas, were held at Corbin, Kentucky in storage until 1973. In May 1959, the locomotive was donated to the Kentucky Railway Museum in New Haven, Kentucky, where it sat on display for many years. Twenty years later, the Clinchfield Railroad leased 2716 for use in their steam program, However, as the locomotive was being taken apart for the restoration, the Clinchfield Steam Program was canceled due to the parent company, Seaboard Coastline Industries, ousted the CNO, Gen the Clinchfield General Manager, Thomas D. Moore, Jr., for participating in a scandal of misappropriated money. The end result of the returning of returning the disassembled 2716 to KRM. So to put that in much more simple terms, what happened is that the general manager of what would have been the steam program for the Clinchfield 
restored another locomotive that they renumbered to Clinchfield number one. And that locomotive ran a few excursions from Clinchfield in their steam program. Albeit the original plan was to have 2716 along with the small, well, along with the smaller locomotive participate in the steam program, but due to that locomotive being restored and, um, how should I put this? Um, oh, embezzling money, which essentially means that you are misappropriating funds in a company for other reasons other than going back into the company. You're shuffling them into your own pocket, and that is kind of illegal. <laughs> so not much would change for 2716 until the year of 1980. 2716 was leased for, by the Southern Railway to pull the longer and heavier passenger trains for their ever-popular steam excursion program, which came to be called the Southern Steam Program. The Southern brought the locomotive to their, their steam locomotive shops in Irondale, Alabama, where master mechanic Bill Perdue... Per, per, Day, I'm probably butchering that horribly, significantly altered the locomotive's appearance to appear as if the Southern had purchased a 284 type new, which in fact they did not. 2716 was painted in a very handsome color scheme with, with black with gold pinstriping, while the front smoke box plate was painted in a lighter graphite color. The headlight was moved from its pilot to the center of the smoke box door, decorated with brass flag holders and even a brass eagle ornament. Additionally, the locomotive had its bell swinging from the top of the smoke box and carried the round SR emblems on its air compressor shields. After operating on a test run completed between October 10th and October 11th, 1981, 2716 pulled its first southern excursions on October 17th and 18th, running a round trip from Chattanooga, Tennessee to Rockwood, Tennessee and back. In November 1981, 2716 pulled excursions in Alabama and Georgia. In, in April of 1982, the locomotive resumed its duties, pulling trains through North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. But three, late, three weeks later, a very inexperienced fireman damaged the locomotive's firebox, resulting in 2716 having to be taken out of service for repairs. This left the Southern with a choice. Either they restore 2716's firebox, and at the same time, they would have the same cost of getting another locomotive to fill in, or they bring in another locomotive, which was nickel plate 765 from the Fort Wayne Historical Society as a fill-in. Ultimately, they chose nickel plate 765 with it being called for a replacement for 2716. Following the merger of the Southern and the Southern Railway and the Norfolk and Western Railway that formed the Norfolk Southern Railway, now known as the Norfolk Southern Railway Corporation, or Norfolk Southern Railroad Corp. 2716 was retired in favor of N&W 611 in 1982, along with N&W 1218 later on in 1987, serving as the main motive power for the steam program. It was put into storage at the Irondale Locomotive Shops in 1985 after attempts to weld cracks in the firebox had failed. After Norfolk Southern ended their steam program in 1994, the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society, FWRHS, also the owner of Nickel Plate 765, moved 2716 to their facilities a year later. In July 1996, the Fort Wayne Historical Society restored the locomotive back to its original CNO appearance, repaired its firebox, and operated on a brief push pull on brief push pull excursions between Logansport, Indiana, and Gilman, Illinois. That same year, however, the FRA Federal Railroad Administration inspectors ordered to give either 2716 new flues or 
765 a complete overhaul. They ended up choosing 765 having a complete overhaul, and 2716 would make its final run in October 1996. The Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society decided to return 2716 to its display site at the Kentucky Railway Museum in 2001. It remained on static display there for the next 16 years. On February 2nd, 19, on February 2nd, 2016, the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation, or KISCO for short, was formed and announced that it had signed a long-term lease with the Kentucky Railway Museum to restore and operate 2716, during which 2716's appearance was temporary, temporarily altered to resemble a Louisville and Nashville M1 Big Emma number 1992 for the annual Louisville and Nashville Railroad Historical Society Convention. In May 2018, the Kentucky, Kentucky Steam Heritage Corp partnered with CSX Transportation to move the locomotive to a former Louisville and Nashville Rail, Railroad Yard in Ravenna, Kentucky, to build a new base tourist and community development center. In November 2018, the Kentucky Railway Historical, the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corp, acquired three pieces of rolling stock from the former Indiana Transportation Museum collection, such as auxiliary tender number two two five one nine five eight, an ex Pennsylvania Railway Post Office car or RPO number sixty five sixty five and baggage car number 9036 for use behind 2716. In January 2019, the Big Rivers Electric Corporation in Henderson, Kentucky, salvaged a pair of Buckeye three-axle roller bearings from a flat car, which was abandoned at their facility in Hawesville, Kentucky, and donated them to Kentucky Steam to replace the old friction bearing trucks underneath 2716's tender. From July 26 to, 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 to the 28th, 2019, 2716 was moved out of the Kentucky Railway Museum for the first time in 18 years and went to its new home in Ravenna, Kentucky for restoration along with the help of CSX Transportation and the R.J. Corman Railroad Group. Also of which, if you checked out my old videos or were a subscriber at the time, you will remember that I documented this move. The locomotive was officially moved into the Ravenna shops on July, July 31st, and restoration work on 2716 started, started shortly after. During the restoration work, the locomotive's firebox side sheets, which were patched up twice during its two previous restorations, first in 1981, then again in 1996, were replaced with newly fabricated ones. In March 2022, the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corp was in, was in exchange with the Pueblo Railway Museum in Pueblo, Colorado to swap out two of 2716's inoperable air compressors with two operable air compressors that came off, that came off an inoperable Santa Fe 2900 class steam locomotive number 2912. In September 2022, Kentucky Steam Heritage Corp purchased new boiler flues from the Hoosier Valley Railroad Museum's nearly identical 2789 for use on the former's 2716. 2716's firebox will eventually be modified to burn oil fuel instead of coal. Once the restoration work is finished, 2716 will eventually travel over the Nugatuck Railroad Museum in Connecticut. And before you go, folks, there's something here that I would like to read if I can find it. Just a second here. I do apologize. I didn't have all this pulled up immediately just because I'm kind of... Oh, it's all a bit weird. Okay.
So another thing to talk about where 2716 is concerned is that um, if you would like to help restore this locomotive and donate to Kentucky Steam, I will leave a link in the description for Kentucky Steam and also a page where you can read their story on 2716 and how it's got to where it is. And speaking of this little railroad operation going on in Kentucky, I may as well tell you a bit more about them. So, let me find it. So, the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation is a Kentucky based 501c nonprofit organization operating with the intent to educate, entertain, and inspire the past, current, and future generations by operating rail historic equipment. The hallmark of our efforts is the restoration of Chesapeake and Ohio 2716 to operation. The restoration and operation of 2716, along with other pieces, will prove to be living history and serve as an educational tool, enhancing heritage tourism, and simulating economic growth. For more information about Kentucky Steam and their operations, again, I will leave a link in the description down below. And that's going to do it for this video here. If you, if you like this video, please be sure to drop a like on the like button down below. Subscribe if you'd like to catch more. And turn notifications on while you're at it as it lets YouTube know. Just keep sending you notifications every time we post a new video. And that's going to do it, guys. I will see you somewhere out there on the high iron.